All right, now we're doing 8Q training JS number 13 number object and its properties. This is by my Jinx in 2015, and 88% of the people like it. All right, so on this one, we're going to basically check if a number is any of these, and we're going to have it print out uh, this. No matter, actually, what we're going to do is have it print out this, and it's going to have any number of these depending on what uh, what happens so let me show you what I'm talking about all right so we're gonna say const here equals all right and so first things first we're gonna get some template literal literals in here the template literals are literals delimited with backtick characters allowing for multi-line strings for string interpolation with embedded expressions and for special constructs called tag templates. We're going to be using these, these the string interpolation with embedded expressions. So it's going to be just like this. Uh, it's going to be the backtick characters and then string text and then inside of here this is the embedded expression dollar sign uh, and then these curly braces and then whatever you want inside of there. So we're going to start off with the back tick, and then we're going to say uh, input number is, and now we're going to do the embedded expression. So we're going to use a giant uh, template literal for this. It's not template literal, but a conditional operator. And uh, the first thing on the conditional operator we're going to do is uh, we're going to check if it's positive infinity. So uh, if in equals equals positive infinity to be number dot positive infinity and basically it just checks if the number is positive infinity or, or not so if it does that then we want it to do a string of positive infinity okay and we can just take this because it's going to be pretty similar to the next one. So we're going to have a little uh, colon and then we're going to go down here and say uh, pretty much the same thing. Use, yeah, except for this time it's going to be negative infinity. All right, and then we can do that uh, two more times for uh, the other two. We'll just take this all right and uh, all right so we're going to change this to uh, max value this one's going to be min value the next one Oops, whoops. Oh, whatever. We'll just take this. And do this. All right, min value. All right, now we've got all those. Now we have to do the is nan. We gotta find out if it's uh, not a number or not. So we're gonna do one more of these. And we're gonna say, uh, if number dot is excuse me is nan because number dot is nan a method that determines whether the pass value is not a number and its type is number okay so we're going to do that is nan and then we're going to say in and if so we're going to say and change this and there we go and if not anything we're just going to have it return in okay oops we'll do this and let's see what happens test it out all right good awesome attempt it all right submit it my solutions best practice in my opinion very like this one, and we'll see you next time.